Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from Air Media, and tonight's video I want to review Death Wish in 4K HDR. Now, I just finished watching this on Apple TV, so let's get straight into the movie. Now, this is a remake of the 1970s Death Wish series, and this stars Bruce Willis, and he's definitely showing his age in this one, I will say it, but it is a revenge flick, and it's a good one at that. I mean, it definitely doesn't reinvent the genre. It really got trashed by the critics, but I feel like a lot of that had to do with a political agenda. I I do feel that it is a sensitive time to release a movie like this, but Eli Roth went into this movie and did not hold anything back, and that's what he's known for. Now, Eli Roth, for those who don't know, is known for directing horror. He directed Hostel, The Green Inferno, Clown, and I'm actually a fan of him. I know he gets some hate in the community, and he definitely brings his little horror aspects to this, but this is a general action thriller revenge flick. Bruce Willis definitely kicked some ass in this, and I had some fun with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some issues with the story, and it doesn't reinvent the genre or anything, but it's definitely some gory, bloody fun that Eli Roth knows best. Now let's get to the picture quality. So this was shot at 2.8K, and I'm not sure about the digital intermediate, but I'm gonna think this is a 2K digital intermediate upscaled to 4K. Now there was a nice increase in detail here on the usual suspects, but nothing to write home about, and this is not a massive increase by any means. Now this was digitally shot on RE cameras, so there is no film grain on this, and this does look very sharp and very clear. Now the black levels are very good here and there are a lot of nighttime scenes with very dark images so the black levels really do help out. Now let's get to the HDR on this one and like I said there are a lot of nighttime scenes with Bruce Willis is going and getting revenge and the shadow detail in the HDR is leaps and bounds ahead of the HD version. That's what I will say and that's one of the main highlights of this transfer. Also in the HDR there are nuances in the color especially in the daytime scenes and you can tell different nuances of the gray on uh, Bruce Willis's hoodie as well. Now let's get to the audio quality mix and I was really hoping for an Atmos mix on this one but sadly we did not get an Atmos mix. This is just Adobe Digital 5.1. Now it does sound good and the 5.1 offers a great set use of the surrounds but I do wish we got an immersive mix on this. It would have been well deserved but sadly we got the 5.1 but it is not disappointing by any means. Now guys this is a digital exclusive if you want the 4K. It's only coming out in Blu-ray otherwise and the code does not redeem in 4K and it's $14.99 currently and for this one I would say wait for a sale. Don't get me wrong the 4K does look better but it, I would not say it's leaps and bounds better and I could see this going on sale for $9.99 very soon. Anyway guys I hope you liked this video let me know down below if you saw the movie what you thought of it and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>